This episode is an ode to one of my favorite bands of all time, and I'm making the Squitch Witch. This is a sandwich made up of salmon, quinoa tabbouleh, Ertz potato chips, iceberg lettuce, tzatziki, crispy tofu, and hot peppers. First thing we have to do is dry the tofu. Start by draining the liquid from the tofu package and give the block of tofu a gentle squeeze. This removes a lot of excess water. Cut the tofu into 3 quarter inch slices and lay them out onto some paper towel. Put more paper towel on top of the tofu and add some weight to apply pressure. I'm using a glass dish and some canned goods. Use whatever you have around the house for weight. Let that sit until we're ready to fry it. When cooking the quinoa, stick to a 2 to 1 ratio of water to quinoa, just like when cooking rice. Add 2 cups of water, 1 cup of quinoa, and half a tablespoon of salt into a pot. Bring to a boil, cover it, and cut the heat for 3 minutes. Then set the heat to low and cook for an additional 6 minutes. After that, check to see if all the water has been evaporated. If there's a little water left, continue to cook on low for another minute or so. Transfer it to a plate and let it chill in the fridge as we prepare the rest of the tabbouleh. Cut half a bundle of parsley. Cutting herbs can be annoying and tedious, so bunch the herbs as tight as possible and proceed to chop. And then give it a little once over. Once the parsley is all chopped, it should equal around a cup's worth. If it's more or less, that's okay. Remove the leaves from half a bundle of mint. We're not going to use the stems in this recipe, so throw them away. Again, bunch the leaves together and give it a good chop. Cut your cucumber in half and remove the skin, and then cut into half inch discs. Pile the discs onto stacks of three and cube into ninths. I don't know, but cut them like you're making a tic-tac-toe board. You can use regular tomatoes if you'd like. I happen to have some grape tomatoes on hand, so I'm going to roll with that. We're looking for a cup of diced tomatoes. Add two tablespoons of cumin, two tablespoons of salt, and a tablespoon of black pepper. Add the juice of one lemon and make sure not to get any of the seeds in it. I like to stick the lemon into the microwave for 20 seconds just to get the juices really flowing. Mix it up and add a third cup of good olive oil to the tabbouleh and let it chill in the fridge. I nearly forgot the onion, so dice half an onion by making three horizontal cuts in the onion but don't cut it all the way. Then make four vertical slits into the onion and again do not cut through the entire onion and proceed to dice. Add the onion, chilled quinoa, and mix it all together. Put it back in the fridge until we're ready to assemble the sandwich. Put a pound of salmon into a dish to marinade. Not gonna lie, I'm using frozen salmon here. Fresh salmon would probably work better, but please work within your means. The marinade consists of mirin, Ponzu sauce, squeeze of lemon, and courtesy of my boy the Kool-Aid man, fruit punch. Again, 
the marinade is a quarter cup of mirin, a quarter cup of ponzu sauce, a packet of fruit punch, and a little squeeze of lemon. If you're using the same lemon from the tabbouleh, that's fine. The mirin, ponzu, and fruit punch have a deep flavor, so a little bit of lemon will help brighten the salmon. Mix it together, pour over the salmon, cover with plastic wrap, and put it in the fridge to marinate. In a shallow dish, add 5 tablespoons of cornstarch, 1 tablespoon of salt, 1 packet of fruit punch mix, and combine it together. Gently place the tofu into the dredge and make sure it's evenly coated along all the sides. To my surprise, it turned into this lovely demonic red color that looks like so much fun. As you'll notice for the rest of the episode, my fingertips have been stained that demonic red color, so if you want to avoid that, maybe use some gloves. So start with the head of iceberg lettuce. Cut it in half and then cut that into half again. We're only going to be using a quarter of the iceberg lettuce. Cut out the stem and slice into thin strips. These strips are a little too long, so rotate the pile of sliced lettuce and make a cut down the center. This last step may be a little unnecessary, but place the sliced lettuce into a bowl with a little bit of paper towel underneath. Preheat an oven to 400 degrees and spray down a baking sheet with oil. Let the salmon bake for 10 minutes. Put a small amount of fresh cornstarch into a shallow dish to coat the tofu right before we fry them. In a large pan, put a good amount of frying oil and heat it up until it gets a little smoky. I'm using vegetable oil, but use any oil with a high smoke point, like peanut oil, canola oil, or corn oil. Drop the tofu in the hot oil, and if you don't hear that satisfying sound of fried goodness, wait a minute because the oil isn't hot enough just yet. Once the tofu is in the hot oil, try not to move it around too much and let it chill and develop its crispy exterior. Fry for 3 minutes on each side. When the salmon and tofu is done, transfer it to a cooling rack and get ready to assemble the sami. We're using a loaf of Italian bread here. We need something strong so it could support all of these ingredients. As you can see, I tried to get the bread hinge going, but eventually just cut it through completely. Throw it in the oven to warm up the bread. We're not looking to toast it, we're looking to get it just warm. Spread the quinoa tabbouleh onto the bread. Add dollops of tzatziki onto both pieces of bread. Polka dot some hot peppers onto the base of the sami. I keep a jar of sliced jalapenos and lemon juice in my fridge. Use your favorite hot peppers here. Lay a bed of lettuce and stack it with the crispy tofu, shredded salmon, and oots potato chips. This will get messy, so with all the confidence in the world, grab the lid and top the squid switch. Since squitch is a three-piece band, I'll be cutting the sandwich into thirds but you could easily cut it into like six pieces. While the sandwich may look odd, there's a yummy balance of flavors and textures which is key to any great sandwich. The sweet tartness of the fruit punch plays well with the acidity of the tabbouleh and the salt coming from the chips. The tzatziki blankets the hot peppers well and adds a welcome sauciness to the sandwich. Thank you for watching this episode of Sleeper Kitchen. This is the Squitch Witch, and here is Eat Yourself Alive, by Squitch.